This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. And gets interceptions all game long. So if you want to see what defense I'm using get results like this, a week ago, woo! stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be playing against what is easily two of the best quarterbacks in Madden history, and the defense I'm going to show you guys today is going to absolutely destroy both of them. The plays that I'm using today can once again be found in my New Orleans Saints offense and multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys need more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks just by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment, and it will significantly improve your game. My first game is going to be against Patrick Mahomes, who's a 99 overall rated quarterback. He has every superstar ability under the sun, hot route master, one of the most powerful arms in the game, and one of the fastest releases in the game. And Madden 24 even added some new abilities where he can throw balls from ridiculous angles to get completions. The defense I'm going to be using once again today is the pinch bug zero and the cover four drop out of the three four odd. I already made a video about this defense, so if you guys want to see that, I will have a link in the description as well as at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The reason I'm making a second video is so I can dive a little bit deeper into how to run this defense properly, and also because of how many negative comments I saw in the first video saying stuff like this. One of the biggest mistakes people make when running this defense is they're not setting up their coaching adjustments properly. My first adjustment is to set up my zone coverage to match then set my curl flats to 15. I also set my flats to 5 but if my opponent is running the ball a lot I will set them to 0 so that they have better run defense. I set my cornerback matchups to buy overall ball in the air defense to play ball for more interceptions and my auto alignment to base as this is the most important out of all of them. If you've tried this defense and your opponent picked it apart make sure that you have this set because it is so important in this defensive scheme that I won't even run a play until I have it set in my coaching adjustments as I have to call a timeout every single game so I can get the full setup in before the play starts. The reason this is so important is because this setting hides your coverage pre-snap by making every defense look the same before the play. Without this, your opponent can just sit back, read the defense pre-snap, pre-diagnose where to go with the ball, and make it much easier to play against. But with this adjustment on, they can only guess, meaning that they have to make a quick post-snap read in only a few seconds before the blitz gets home. The setup is super simple. All you really have to do is pinch the entire defense by hitting the R1 or RB button and down on the right stick. Pinching the defense like this will make your cornerbacks vulnerable to go routes outside, so I find it's best to hit the wire triangle button and base align one time, as it will walk the cornerbacks back but leave the safeties in the box for extra run support. There's more you can do to the setup after that, but it's all based off of situation, so I will go over that throughout the video. On this first play, I guess pass, because I figure if someone picks the Chiefs, it's probably because they want to use Patrick Mahomes. Surprise, motherfucker! But this will also make your run defense weaker, as it causes your defender's ratings to drop, so make sure to only do this when you know your opponent is going to pass. As Mahomes gets hit every single time and the pass falls incomplete. Nope! On offense, I try to take a shot right away, but I get pressured myself, <laughs> and it gets picked off. <laughs> Back on defense, the only thing that's changed is we actually get the sack this time. <laughs> but a sack is better than a bad decision that results in interception. Gotcha, bitch. That's exactly what my opponent does on the very next play. Is he forces it, and we get an interception inside the red zone. And my opponent has already had enough. As he pulls the internet cord out of the wall to rage quit. In my next game, I get another human cheat code to try to stop on Lamar Jackson, who's not only the fastest quarterback in the history of the game with a 96 speed, but he's also faster than any running back in the game this year with a bunch of running base superstar abilities. I start the game out on defense and I have to call a timeout once again to get my coaching adjustments set. This time though, I make sure to add one more, and that is to set the option defense to conservative. It doesn't work on the first play, as you can see how much of a problem Lamar Jackson is with the ball in his hands. The biggest difference between cover zero and cover four defense is when to use them. The pinch bug zero is a much better defense against pass plays especially when your opponent is throwing short to intermediate routes. But it can also get beat deep since everyone is in single coverage, making it somewhat risky. The cover four is the exact opposite. It's a much safer defense for deep pass plays because the back half plays more like a prevent, focusing on not letting people get behind them. But when I blitz all linebackers, it's also vulnerable to quick short throws. If you want to know when it's best to call either of these plays, the best indicator of where your opponent is going to throw the ball is by looking at the down and distance. If it's first and 10, the play can be anywhere, but if it's third and short, you know it's going to be a short throw, making the pinch bug zero a better option, compared to third and 20, where you would want to choose a coverage that doesn't give up anything deep. No big deal though, is now he only has about 25 to 30 yards of space left in the end zone, so now that is my indicator. On the next play, he runs wide outside, which is probably the biggest weakness of this defense, but that's totally optional, as pinching the defense will close up any 
any inside run lanes, but it'll also make your linemen easier to block and keep them inside against outside run plays. If your opponent takes this approach, you will have to adjust by spraying the defensive line and spraying the linebackers instead to help stop the outside runs. Now that he is inside the five, he tries the same type of run, but this time I know where he is going, so I shoot the gap and get him for a loss. <laughs> Your ass down. On the next play, he runs it again and keeps it with Lamar, but this time the conservative setting holds up as we push him back for another loss. Now from nine yards out, when Lamar gets instantly buried Woo! as his defense holds into a field goal on what looked like the RPO glitch, since his coverage corner turned into a blitzer for no reason at all. I wanted to highlight this because of all the comments crying about how overpowered and cheesy this defense was. No one is innocent in online head-to-head -head games, so don't feel bad for anyone. This dude was running somewhat glitchy plays all drive, and it's fair to fight fire with fire. I'm going to be running my gun stack by flex scheme, but I'm going to be spending most of this video going over the defense. I just made a video breaking this down, so if you guys want to learn more about it, I will have a link in the description as well as an orange screen pop up at the end of the video, so stick around for that, as this is easily one of the most explosive offenses in Madden 24. On defense, I choose the man zero blitz once again, and this drive starts off a lot better as the QB run he is using is now dead. I pick cover four on the next play expecting more run plays, but instead I give up another play over the middle to the only open route. Now that's first and ten again, I go back to the zero blitz, and the tight man coverage makes him hold the ball, resulting in another sack before he hurries me up to try to do it again, only to get buried again. <laughs> And now that I have him in a third and forever situation, I will switch to the prevent cover four because all it takes is one guy to miss the tackle and cover zero, and I'm giving up 31 yards just like that. So this is the best defense for this situation. He takes a short route and gets back to fourth and nine, but I'm cool with that as we switch back to the cover zero in the next play. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. On offense, if you can't beat him, join him, I guess, as my opponent starts to use the exact same pinch bug zero that I am. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. And totally starts shutting me down as well. <laughs> almost knocking me out of field goal range. Almost. So I will show you guys how to beat that on the very next drive. As my opponent quickly three and outs before deciding to go for it from his own 28. <laughs> Back on offense, since he is running my defense now, and I know the weaknesses, I'm going to switch offenses entirely to under center and run the football. A lot of people will figure this out, but the best formation to attack the man zero blitz is from any formation that has two wide receivers on one side of the field so that both of the cornerbacks will match and be on the same side. From here, all I have to do is flip the play with the right stick, and just like that, there is no one out here to contain me. Now that I'm up two scores with under two minutes left in the half, I expect my opponent to start forcing things deep. So I go back to the prevent defense, and you know what they say, prevent prevents you from winning. So I go right back to the Manzer Blitz and almost get an interception on the next play. That was a close one. We get him into a third and long from here, only this time he calls a wheel route to the running back and almost scores. He tries to run again from here, but that shit's dead. <laughs> before trying to scramble on second down and then hitting a crosser right in front of me. Damn! We got a ball game now, so in the second half, I come out firing as he is also running my cover four. Okay, stop copying me. And having the same success with one major difference. Just like I said earlier, he clearly did not set his coaching adjustment to base, which allows me to take my time pre-snap, make the right read, and predetermine where I'm going with the ball. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive in it. Since I've been blitzing him relentlessly all game from cover four, I decided to try to bait him this time by showing him the exact same blitz setup. Only this time, I'm not going to blitz all linebackers, letting them drop into coverage in hopes that he makes a quick throw and a bad decision. And that's exactly what happens. Gotcha, bitch. When a quarterback is facing a lot of pressure, he will eventually feel that pressure even when it's not there. So every once in a while, do this just to keep your opponent off balance. From here, my blitz comes back to haunt me as he almost knocks me out of field goal range. Almost. <laughs> Now up three scores, I start running the prevent again because I know that he is going to have to pass to get back into this game, and I don't want to give up any quick scores. But once he gets into scoring range, I go right back to the man zero blitz, and we go right back to getting pressures and sacks, as he is now running for his life with Lamar to get into a fourth and 18 situation. <laughs> So that's that's the video. If you guys want to learn more about the offense I was using in today's video, I'll have a link to that popping up on screen. So just click the links as I'm sure to help the game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Let's shit out support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below